Hi friends. Uh, today we're going to try something different. I have um, a new thing that hooks my phone up so it can look down at the book. So we're going to try that and see how it works. So today we're going to, we haven't read a, a nonfiction book in quite a while, so we're going to read Cheetah Cubs. The sun is setting on the African grassland. This cheetah mother sits on top of a termite mound. She's looking for a safe place to sleep. Her new babies are hiding in the tall golden grass. Can you find all five spotted cubs? Let's see, can you see them? There's one. Oh, you're right. Yep, there's some over here and some over here. Good job. The cheetah spots help it to blend into the grass. The main cheetah comes, the name cheetah comes from the Indian word uh, cheetah. It means spotted one. Every cheetah has a different pattern of spots, just like the way your fingerprints are different than everyone else's. Cheetah cubs look soft and cuddly but their coats are actually thick and scratchy. Only the fur on their spots is soft. Cheetah cubs also have longer fur around their necks. Oh yeah, look at all the fur there. This is called a mantle. It helps them blend into the grass. This makes it harder for predators to see them. Kind of looks like long grass, doesn't it? Uh-oh, the cheetah mother sees a hyena. Hyenas, lions, and leopards can hurt cheetah cubs that are left alone. Cheetahs cannot roar like lions, so the mother hisses and arches her back to frighten the hyenas away. Then she calls to her cubs with a soft chirp to tell them to keep still and stay together. My cat Oliver chirps. I wonder if he's part cheetah. <laughs> Maybe he imagines he's a cheetah. The hyena could come back anytime, so the cheetah mother has to move her cubs quickly. She uses her teeth to gently pick up one cub by its mantle. Then the mother runs away with the cub to find a hiding place. She comes back again and again until all of her cubs are safe in a den nearby. Now the cheetah cubs are sleeping snugly. They will stay here until their mother moves them in the morning. The cheetah mother moves her cubs almost every day to keep them safe. But for now, the cubs take a cat nap. When the cubs wake up, they greet one another. They sniff, lick, and rub cheeks. The cubs clean one another with their rough tongues. They purr just like kittens. Can we count how many there are? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It is time for breakfast. The cheetah cubs cuddle next to their mother. They drink her milk hungrily. The mother will feed her cubs milk until for about three months. The cheetah mother leads her cubs out of the den into the sunlight. The cubs are ready to play. They spin and leap. They climb and chase. They even play leapfrog. The cubs will use these skills when they start hunting. Cheetahs like to play, but they are usually shy. They do not attack humans. A long time ago, some rich people kept cheetahs as pets. People also trained cheetahs to hunt for them. And it looks like maybe he's a pharaoh in Egypt. I was a king a long time ago. Today, people are dangerous to cheetahs. They kill cheetahs with guns for their beautiful fur. And because people live everywhere in the world now, cheetahs have less land to live and hunt on. Cheetahs used to be common in many parts of the world. Almost 100 years ago, there were 100,000 cheetahs, but now they are rare. Only about 12,000 cheetahs are left. They live only in Iran and in Southern and Eastern Africa. Many cheetahs also live in zoos. The cubs are three months old now. Their mother stops feeding them milk. She brings them the animals that she catches. She will share her catches until the cubs learn how to hunt on their own. Cheetahs eat impalas, gazelles, antelopes, rodents, and rabbits. Cheetah cubs need to eat fresh food every day, so their mother works very hard when she goes out to hunt. 
Cheetahs are good hunters because they are very fast. They are the fastest land animals. They can run up to 70 miles per hour. That is more than twice as fast as the best human runners. Even a racehorse can only run about 45 miles per hour. Cheetahs can reach their top speed in about three seconds. Whew, that is quick. But they can get tired quickly and can only run this fast for up to one minute. Cheetahs are built for speed. Their backbone stretches like a spring. They have long straight legs. Their claws help them dig into the dirt like spikes on soccer shoes. Their heart and lungs are larger than those of other big cats to help them breathe while they run fast. A long tail helps them keep their balance. Even the dark stripes on their faces are helpful. The stripes keep sunlight out of the cheetah's eyes. So he has lots of things that help him to be fast. Other big cats like lions hunt in packs, but cheetahs work alone to catch their prey. The mother cheetah stalks a herd of antelope. When they see her, they scatter and run. The mother cheetah chases an antelope until she catches up to it. She swats the antelope and knocks it down. She grabs it by the throat with her strong jaws to stop it from breathing. After the chase, the mother cheetah has to rest for up to 30 minutes. She pants like a dog to help her cool off from running. Then she eats fast before another animal steals her food. She takes some of her catch back to her hungry cubs. The cheetah cubs are eight months old now. It's time for them to learn to hunt. Their mother brings them a live rabbit to practice on. At first, they think they are just playing a game. They squeal and run in circles. They do not try too hard to catch the rabbit. After much practice, the cheetah cubs are ready to hunt on their own. They spot a pack of gazelles and run towards them. One of the cubs comes close to making a catch, but the gazelle is too fast. This cub is tired from the chase. He stops to rest in the shade. He will wait a few hours before trying to hunt again. Later, the cub sees a young gazelle without its mother. This time, the cheetah cub is faster and catches the gazelle. Now the cubs are one and a half years old. It's time for their mother to leave them. The cubs will stay with one another for a few more months. They will keep hunting as a group. They still play sometimes too. A few more months go by. The cubs are two years old now. They are grown up cheetahs. The male cheetahs will live in a group together for their whole lives. But the female cheetahs leave their brothers. Each female cheetah goes off alone. It's time for them to find mates and start new families. Soon one of the female cheetahs has cubs of her own. The cubs tumble and leap. They rustle and roll. Time for more cheetah cub fun. <laughs> Let's see, how old is this book? Uh, let's see. I'm looking, my friends, to see if it tells me. Because if it's very old, maybe there are more cheetahs now. Maybe we have, maybe some more have been born. But I'm afraid I can't see. Oh, here it is, 2007. So that was quite a long time ago. So maybe there are more cheetahs in the world now. Or maybe there are less. Do you think that we've been helping them? Hmm, maybe you could look it up or get um, an adult to help you look it up and see what else you can find out about cheetahs. All right, have a good day, friends. Bye-bye.